Milo, we're going to be talking about how to practice your golf swing in slow motion and why this is so important if you want to make big gains in your game. And we're here at your house. We've got the rocket net in the background. Make sure you guys check them out. Get yourself a net for this off season. We're going to be talking about how to slow things down, why it's so important to improve. One of the, the biggest keys for learning a new movement pattern is breaking the pattern down to a rate of speed where you can feel the difference and do the difference. When you go full speed, though it may feel different if you record yourself, I would venture to guess it doesn't look any different ever at first, unless you learn basically look the same over and over and over again. I know because I have experimented with it and I have a hard time making my golf swing look different unless I go slow for a minute and then I say, okay, now I can try that a little faster. Mm -hmm. The best players in the world, when they want to make changes, they slow down. Other sports, when you're learning a new pitch or when you're learning a new play in football or in basketball, you walk. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> you walk. <laughs> right. Literally. They call well, it's it like, walk through. Well, it's like, it's not even just like, it's also learning the form. Yes. You hear about in other sports, they're talking about your form needs to improve. Your, whether it's catching or throwing or sprinting, whatever. So they slow that down so their form improves, then they can speed it back up and their efficiency goes up as well. Yes. So the same thing here. Let's say you're watching our channel and you want a more rotational golf swing. Should I go from this motion to all of a sudden <laughs> adding rotation at full speed? You could try, but you'll probably be worse if you want to actually put the pieces together correctly. First of all, you need to understand what pieces go together. Yeah. There's a whole series of matchups. When we add rotation, we also have to add a lot of other things. It's not like you can just say, okay, I want to rotate now. Yeah. Well, you, you could try that, but you, if you are already hitting the ball fairly decent, and now we just add rotation, we just, we just threw a whole wrench into what you do. Yeah, you could be watching our channel and <laughs> get real frustrated real fast and yeah. think that there's a better solution for you out there. And, and it's not about just a swing tip here or there that's yeah. gonna make you better. You need to understand the pattern. And that's why slow motion is critical if you wanna actually make a change. So you understand all the puzzle pieces and you learn to put them together slow, yeah. and then you learn to put them together a little faster and a little faster and a little faster. So this is why you essentially created the Milo Lines Golf Academy. So you could not only reach people online and outside of here in Arizona, but also so you could sh sort of show a step-by-step -step method, yeah. break it down, and then give individual analysis because everyone's different. Everyone has different needs. Yeah. But at the root of it all, getting better is slowing down and, and sort of adding these pieces together, yeah. right? So you gotta puzzle them together, and then once you've kind of got the puzzle organized and put together, then you have to figure out how to speed it up again. So when you say slow, how slow are we talking? A lot slower than <laughs> most people think. I have people show up on the practice tee all the time yeah and when i slow them down and i have them hitting the ball sometimes at the beginning five yards ten yards with the full motion so we're going through a whole motion and the ball's going five to ten yards they think holy cow now that's like I barely pass this net yeah it's just fast enough so the ball will go like this and almost be hitting the coming down when it hits the net all right let me try that i don't even know if i can go that slow so do you want the whole motion that slow, or do you want it more slow at the bottom? I want it all slow. Oh boy. <laughs> it's like, first we're just puzzling it together. Okay. Too far. No, that would have hit the fence about seven yards, eight yards. That was good. So, and then what you can do as you slow it down is take a video of yourself. And see if you're doing it right. Once you have an idea of what you're looking for, what you're looking to improve, mm -hmm. especially say you're on our academy and you have clear game plan of what you need to look for you slow it down it's a lot easier to see those things versus going all out right for sure how's that one that's pretty good what are you trying to feel there yeah well, let's why don't we go a little bit into like what i'm working on so our viewers at home can kind of say okay well one is he doing it how slow is he need to to make that feel to really get what he's looking for, right? And feel what he's wanting to, because each everyone's feels a little different. So you and I have been working a little bit on setup, yep. right? A little bit width of stance, 
widen you out, get your hips a little less twisted, a little yep. less... Uh, a little less this way, just a little wider so I can use my, my legs as brakes, so I can yep. stay more inside my columns, as you say. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a little wider. I got pitching wedge here, so I don't know, probably shoulder width, would you say? Yeah. Roughly? Just inside shoulder width with the wedge. With the wedge, I'd probably want you a little inside of that. But, yeah. You know, but it still feels a little wider to me than, well, that's than previously. That's like driver. Yeah. The other thing I'm working on a little bit is the club face, because I get, tend to get it a little closed towards the top, gets a little crossed up, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so we're going to keep the face feeling just a little more neutral right which feels wide open to you which feels wide open so i'm going to really feel that i'm going to exaggerate a little bit i'm going to feel like the shaft is more out that way okay. at the top i'm going to feel like it's not crossed up yeah. and i'm going to feel like the face is a little more back at you versus back at the camera yeah. so that's kind of what i'm feeling with the club face and then what do you feel in transition <clears throat> in transition i'm kind of well Getting up to the top, feeling like it's nice and wide. And in transition, I sort of sit and feel like my left arm goes a little bit into my chest and that club's back to the right of me. Yep. What about your pelvis? Do you feel any forward in it? Uh, not nearly as much as there used to be. I try to feel like, if anything, I'm sort of falling more into my right side, which might not be the best feeling for most people. Again, everything's personalized. Yes. For me, I've had a tendency to get a little lateral, a little slide. So feeling like I'm dropping more into the center or even feeling like my tailbone goes a little bit into my, sort of my right heel. Yeah. If I can, is yeah, that? Just behind. That so that, that kind of matches up with that move and then I can just turn out of the way. Yep. Definitely unique, definitely not something that maybe should be prescribed for everybody as far as how I'm sort of landing, but it all just depends on what you currently do. If you currently are going this way, then you might need to feel more of that way. If you're currently over here going this way, then you might need to feel more of this way. <laughs> it's, it's, that's why the slow motion is important. So you can feel the difference and you can see that you do it. So what I would be doing here is to get that club the way I want at the top. I might look at it a little bit just to make sure. Okay, it feels nice and wide. Club face is more back at you, Milo. Yep. And then I would make some of these rehearsals the way I want with my pelvis. And then maybe I would chip one out of the way as well, just in slow motion. And the contact's not... Not critical. You know, that one I kind of towed off the side, but I'm just trying to get a motion. This is where I could be taking a video too. Yeah. and make sure my, my, my rehearsals are really good. <clears throat> yeah, you make sure you're, you're doing what you're trying to do or even exaggerating the feel of what you're trying to do a little bit. So that was nice and slow. Yeah, that was good. And my favorite ones are actually slow motion, all one motion. So once you can do a little pump and you can train yourself to do the pieces, then you have to kind of start coupling it all together, but slow. Yeah, that's money right there. And the, it takes some attention out, so you can really feel the club head. You'll get a little better uh, understanding and awareness with the club face. Mm -hmm. So for me, that felt like it was back to the right of me. The arms sort of felt like they stayed back, not down, but so we're up and back. So you'll just get a lot more awareness of what's going on when you can slow it down. Yeah, that's perfect. So this is where, again, video, we'd go watch it, say yes, no, got to add a little of this, take away some of that. Feedback's key. You got to have a feedback loop so you can see it, put a feel to what it looks like, and then come back and do it again and you keep progressing. And then over time, once you start to get it to look how you want, slow, start speeding it up slightly and just see what happens. And it usually, for most people, it starts to fall apart somewhat, somewhat. <laughs> but eventually yep. it starts to show up how you want it to. Yeah, all right, well, you're the king of this. So I, I want to see a few from you and what you might be working on in your swing, if there is anything you're working on, I don't know. 
been so long since I played golf <laughs> that I don't know if I, I don't know what I need to work on. So what I generally am always working on is just making sure I'm completing my turn. That's where I struggle. I get a little short. So I'm always feeling like I'm creating a nice wide arc. Well, we've talked before Finish about how you and I sometimes look to generate power and speed by loading the right side, but we get a little low yeah. and it shortens our, our range of motion or backswing. Yeah, so that's one of my faults is I, I actually load down too soon. So yeah. I'll go like this and I start working down. Now I'm restricted a little bit. So I'm, all, I'm constantly working on feeling like I'm working up as I wind, and then I have much more range of motion. I can finish that turn. And then whatever happens on the downswing, I'm not really working on my downswing usually. And I like when you add those little pumps. I've seen you do those on some posts before where you kind of rehearse impact. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I do a lot of impact. And then deliver. Deliver. Now I'm hitting a seven iron, so the ball's coming off with, those would probably go 20 yards in the air. Yeah. That's the idea. Really slow, really precise, and putting all the pieces together. So if you want to learn how to rotate, there are a series of pieces that you have to put together. You know, if I'm doing this to hit the ball, and I want to do this, it's a, there's, a, there's a recipe. And you've got to add the right pieces in. I can't explain in a little video, but I have explained it <laughs> yes. many times. Each individual is different. Yep. And that's, again, why we do coaching and in-person and online lessons. So if you're looking for that help, do come look at our online academy, MyLinesGolf.com. I'll link that above. Check out Rocket Net so you guys can train at home with a nice net at the house. This is the HackNet Pro with Spider Steel. Thing is uh, solid. Yeah, they've got sweet nets. This is a pretty sweet mat that they have. Yeah, so they got the mats too and all the above basically. So check them out and see you next time.